It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Good evening, sports fans. This is 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Sacramento Kings up against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And for New Orleans, coming off a loss in the first game of the season, they'll no doubt be anxious to put tonight's contest in the win column and avoid an 0-2 start. Some teams fast out of the gate, others not so lucky. Kenny, for the teams that have started slowly, how do they turn the tide? You know what? About a week ago, I was talking to a friend of mine about this, and I was like, you, when that happens, you can't panic. The season's just begun. Identify the real problems before you start tinkering on things. Sometimes a lineup change can help. Uh, things may just have to work themselves out, though. Time now for tip-off. We get it to Kevin Harlan. He's got the call. Live from New Orleans, 2K Sports proudly brings you NBA basketball from the home of the Pelicans. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony from the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, it was the New Orleans Pelicans in their last game losing to the Rockets in Houston. And that was a stinker. I mean, that's one of those games where you really can't find anything that they did well. The game just got out of hand and really just a shaky performance across the board. Man, only surprise is that the margin wasn't greater. I mean, somehow they managed to hang around despite their lack of effort, Greg. Now it's ended down to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David? Well, guys, you remember that Anthony Davis had a growth spurt in high school that took him from a 6'2 guard to a 6'10 big man. Now, he remembered telling his mother, I can't fit in my bed, I can't fit in my shoes, I can't fit in these jeans you brought me. And her saying, I just bought those three weeks ago. Kevin? <laughs> it's, it's all paid off in the long run, though. Thanks, DA. And boy, Chris, how much fun is it to have basketball back? Talk about some of the things you personally look for early in a season. Oh, man, what I personally look for in the beginning of the season uh, is how guys develop. And a lot of that is body language. You know, are you putting your head down and dropping your head after a shot? Hmm. Are you not running back on defense after a turnover? These are all little things that show what you're thinking about. You know, I, I just kind of check out the development. But again, the body language is the guy playing hard through his frustration. Is the guy giving his coach eye contact in the huddle? Is he being a great teammate by encouraging guys? I'm passing to an open player for a better shot. And so those are the things that I look at. And then again, with the pace being at an all time high, I think now is a new golden era of basketball where you can have so much more fun because you are no longer held to rules of not getting out of the shot clock, not getting on the fast break. Coaches are now encouraging this style, so the game to me is a lot more fun. So hopefully as a rookie, you come in and you embrace this and just let it fly. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for Sacramento. Down low, it's Bagley and Cauley Stein. Fox is at the point with Heald next to him at the two. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward position. Davis with a screen on Bogdanovich. High post, Davis. Davis setting the pick for Payton. Five to shoot. Here's Miritic. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. Yeah, and this game kicks off a four-game season series between the two teams. And, and it might not be the rivalry that a lot of the conference matchups are, but who knows? Maybe this is the year it heats up a little bit. And how about the mid-range shooting of Fox? Definitely capable of sinking those shots with consistency. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Now, here's Bagley. He's coming off a 13-point game against Utah. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Hill is a great score. It doesn't let the D affect him, especially when he's deep inside. Peyton passes to Randall. 
Hats in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Randall's got his second basket of the night. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Well, you like to see a little more physical nature on defense. You have to make him earn those points at the strike. Now, here's Bagley. From past the arc. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Here's Holiday, and it's New Orleans scoring again. Working the in-between area, the kind of look that can get you into a rhythm early. Yeah, I think he was surprised. He, he was so open. I mean, that's just a defensive breakdown. Thought he was going to be able to take advantage of the D there. He had the space. Punches the three. Sacramento grabs the miss. And you can see why the D is willing to just back off and really take their chances with his jump shot. That one's not going to go. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, Greg, Anthony Davis with so much talent, it's easy to take Drew Holiday for granted. I mean, I think Holiday is the catalyst in terms of this team's ability to create and really put pressure on an offense. It has improved his scoring and become a very efficient option at that guard spot has always been selective with his shots but now it's pressing a bit more to get involved and, and, and more shot. aggression from him I think has helped his production the first one falls he's only listed at 6 4 but holiday plays bigger than that that's the case on D more than anywhere else he can guard three positions and there's a lot of value in that. All three throws, good from Drew Holiday. Even as the team rebuilds, business booming for the Kings, Chris, ticket sales, sponsorships, you name it. Well, the fans are doing their part to make this team a winner. You can bet that. Bagley, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Julius Randle picks one up. And really, the potential Bagley has is so exciting. Just an absolute menace on both ends. And you can tell he wants to be great. down the first one you know when Marvin Bagley entered the league there were some questions as to which position would he play but the versatility he brings is special it can guard a number of positions score inside and out and he is a tremendous rebounder and he makes both free throws and one thing you can't question about Bagley Greg his intensity level as competitive as they come up. He's ferocious around the rim. Oftentimes, he looks like he wants it more than anybody else on the floor. Davis kicks to Holland. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Off the pick. Rebound by the Kings. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Yeah, they lost the momentum, and, and it's a bit surprising that that one got away from them because for long stretches, they were the better team. And those are the games that really hurt. I mean, you're playing well, the effort's there, and in the end, it still is there. Davis with the bucket. And Mears just does whatever he can and whatever it takes to win, including giving up his body and setting big-time screens. The Kings trail by three. Fox kicks to Bagley. On the wing, heel. Coley Stein, a screen. Down low, it's stolen by Randall. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. A three-pointer off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Fox dishes to Bagley. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. Oh, this is what smart point guards do. Fox is adept at realizing the defense's mistakes and exploiting it. Picked by Randall. 
And Holiday has it in the corner. Off the screen. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. Man, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. The Kings trail by three. Fox passes to heel. Back to Fox. To the middle and stolen by Peyton. Pass to Miritich. There's the triple. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. And this is what Miritich does best. A knockdown three ball specialist. Doesn't hesitate in pulling the trigger. Fox kicks to Bogdanovich. Passes to Heald. And here is Cauley Stein. Just five to shoot. They get a hand on it. The Kings need to get off a shot here. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And so here is New Orleans. Six-point game. Peyton outside to the paint. The kick out to Holiday. Shot clock reset for New Orleans. Here's Davis. Count the basket. Davis has got six. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there. Crashing the offensive glass. Getting that second chance bucket. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. New Orleans leading by six. And the pass to Holiday. Davis sets a screen. Payton kicks to Davis. Six on the shot clock. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Uh, you see what Randall can do when in full attack mode? There, converting off of the miss. Fox passes to heel. A three-pointer off the mark. New Orleans is gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Pass to Payton. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. The shot by Holiday, no good. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here is Davis. Marvin Bagley picking up that last basket. Back to Miritich. Inside from 11 feet away. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And with everything that Anthony Davis does on offense, shots, it's gentlemen. just mind-boggling. His scoring inside and out, the percentages, he does it all. He is undoubtedly one of the best big men in the league, and many would argue he is the best in the NBA. And with Anthony Davis, the stat lines, Greg, he can post on any given night are just absurd. Not really. D Davis still strong defensively but he really impacts every facet of the game one of the rare players who can carry a team on both Super ends two. of the floor there just aren't many great players that can lead a team to a championship but I think Davis is of that mold first free throw is good a big group substitution here for New Orleans Diallo, he's checked in for Randall. Miller comes in for Miritich. Etwan Moore, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Alfred Payton. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Chris, there are a lot of players offensively in this league who do certain things, just the nuances that create contact and draw fouls and, and get themselves to the line, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Uh, when I think of fouls, I think of, of James Harden. If I was a big man in the league today, I would have nightmares about this guy because he gets to the free throw <laughs> line almost was it, 10 times a game. His euro step, his way to put his elbow up. 
and baits you to reach in and then there's a presence of mind to be so quick that once you put your hand in the cookie jar, it's like your little brother telling him, Ma, and you get in trouble. And that's what he does. He makes sure that the ref sees you getting that contact and getting the foul. And how about DeMar DeRozan of what he does and being so strong attacking the hole and DeMar DeMarcus Cousins inside using his big body in the post. Uh, th those come to mind uh, the quickest using their skill set to draw fouls on other players. Because there's an art to it. Here's Davis after the made shot from Zach Randall. And it's Davis with the jam. And, and Kevin, plays like that are really the reason they've got a nice lead right now. Just a great job on the glass. And Greg, the jam and the follow gets their whole bench <laughs> jumping. Look at them. They are really into it. Guys, those are the kind of hustle plays that keep a team in front. Here's Miller. No good from Moore. That's how you protect the room. Stand your ground and make him alter his release. The Kings trail by eight. Here's Farrell. Nine points last game out. Randolph a screen on Jack. Farrell for three. Good on the three-point shot. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now here's Moore, guarded by McLemore. Jack up on top. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. It's stolen by McLemore. And now Sacramento on the break. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Well, I just love the hustle from McLemore. A real pest on defense who knows how to swipe the ball away from the opposition. New Orleans leading by three. And Jack kicks to Diallo. Here's the screen to the middle. Here's Davis. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Sacramento's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Here's Farrell. Picked by Randolph. Pass to McLemore. Shot clock at six. The Elites and misses. New Orleans has gone 105 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. And we've all heard the rumors that have been floating around the last few seasons. A lot of speculation if Davis could get traded or, or Greg leave in free agency. I mean, Davis moving would be one of the rare situations where it literally could shake up the entire league. The you hear Find a lot the of different teams express their interest in him. But credit to Davis. He, he really has remained committed to New Orleans and has said everything you'd want to hear from a fan's perspective. The Kings trail by eight. Farrell passes to Bialitsa. To the inside. Labissier. Pelicans pull it in. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. Miller the pass to Davis. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here is a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Anthony Davis is second. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game out. I mean, one special performance after another Take a break. all season Take long. A break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Coach Dave Yeager never missed the playoffs as head coach in Memphis. Chris, is it tough to go from that kind of success to a team now in rebuild mode? Uh, you bet it is. I mean, it's a different challenge to build something from the ground up. Uh, it takes a lot of patience. Uh, you have to appreciate the small moments of progress, even when the wins are few. Methodical in their approach. They have absolutely owned this first quarter. Well, I love how they've done it. They've built this huge lead with points in the paint, dominating physically. Okafor is checked in for Anthony Davis. 
It's Bialica. Bangs home the trifecta. Bialica's got five now. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. And the type of game that many coaches hate. Very little defense being played on either end. And it's Okafor. That time on the assist from Jack. And the Pelicans lead by 11. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Farrell kicks to Bialica. 55 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's LaBissiere, and it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. And where the shot's been coming from tonight? Here's a look broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for New Orleans. And you can see how important those inside baskets are. This is a team that loves to work the ball inside, whether the entry pass or off of a drive. They like to feed on those high-percentage looks. Miller kicks to Jack. It's rebounded by McLemore. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Moves back up, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Jaleel Okafor. And what a tremendous career for Zach Randolph. He hit some bumps early on, but he's played with tremendous consistency throughout his time in the league. And Zach Randolph drops them both. Randolph was an Indiana State champion coming out of high school, so you know the pressure of the NBA doesn't bother him. There's nothing more intense than that when you talk about that Indiana high school tournament. Outside Jack. Passes it to Moore. Fires for three. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Pelicans ahead, up by nine. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And what stands out to you from the Pelicans in this one? I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Yeah, aggressive on D, efficient on offense. They bought out to an early lead. New Orleans leading by nine on the court for Sacramento. They've got Zach Randolph. McLemore is out there with Farrell. Then there's Scal LaBissiere, and it's Bialica in at the three side. Okafor, got it. Good job in the low post. Okafor's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Pelicans. Sacramento's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Farrell passes to LaBissiere. High arcing shot, misses from short range. Well for New Orleans, shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Ben McLemore. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, Sacramento. They trail by 11. And Moore kicks to Miller. Six to shoot. They set the pick. Shoots off the screen. Have to appreciate the work ethics on defense. I mean, Lebissier using his lift to bother shooters. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, the Kings signed some quality vets last season, but when the losses piled up, they decided to go young. Now, the focus is on development. The veterans still have a role, providing steadying presence on the court and in the locker room. Kevin? David, it certainly is a balancing act. Thanks for that report. free throw no good see we have a, a quick tactical question here as a big when you're defending the pick and roll 
What are the things you're looking to do? How do you handle them? Okay, I'm going to try to rapid pace this because this is what goes through your mind. What did Coach say in shoot around? Wait a minute, who is this? Is this Steph Curry, the contributor, or is this Thompson that loves to take a step back? Or is it a player like Durant that loves to hit you with the step back? Or who's setting the pick? Is it a guy like Thompson that's going to slip? Or is it a guy like Dwight Howard that they can throw it up to? Is it Capella that may slip and go through and you still throw it up to and you can't get back? Who's communicating? Wow. Who's on my team in the corner? <laughs> what shooter's in the corner? Because they can't leave the corner to come help. Do I hedge hard? Do I not hedge hard? Oh, no, this is the NBA. is the greatest players in the world. And even if you do it right, they're going to score anyway. That's kind of what goes through. That is something else. <laughs> And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Freeze him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. <laughs> the best laid plans, right? Well, I tell you right there, though, that's one they'll take every single time. New Orleans leading by six. Pick by Okafor. Jack passes to Diallo. Moore outside. It's stolen by McLemore. And here we go. Fast break. McLemore's got it. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And really, whenever McLemore gets loose in transition, he's a problem for the defense. He can score in so many ways. No good for Moore. The Kings trail by four. And here's the fast break. Farrell kicks to Bialitsa. The pass to Labissier. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Labissier, the screen. Here's Randolph. Misses off the left eye. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, and getting right up on the jump shot. And the foul called on Scal Labissier. That's foul number two for him. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Julius Randall's checked in for Sheck Diallo. Heritage comes in for Darius Miller. Drew Holiday is checked in for each one more. And it's Peyton in for Jarrett Jack. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Bagley, he's checked in for Labissier. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Bialitz. On a heel, he's checked in for McLemore. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Farrell. Here's Fox after Drew Holiday's score. And Alfred Peyton with the foul. That's his first foul. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Sacramento. Here's Fox, and it's blocked by Miritich. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another beforehand. The Kings trail by six. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Crawley Stein kicks to Fox. And yes, it's good. Fox has got his second bucket. You got to love the decision making from Willie Crawley Stein. I mean, aware he must keep improving as a passer. Randall outside. Inside. It's tipped. It's stolen by Bagley. Crawley Stein dishes to Fox. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got three assists in the game. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Pick by Randall. Down low. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Randall. And the call will be against Marvin Bagley. That'll be his second foul of the game. New Orleans in the lead. Peyton passes to Randall. Picked by Okafor. Randall right side. Okafor kicks to Peyton. Holiday against Heald. Four on the clock. Back to Peyton. Launches it. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Here's Sacramento. They're on an 11-2 run. The feed to Bogdanovich. And stolen by Miritich. to Randall. Now Peyton to the middle. And it's Okafor. That time on the assist by Peyton. And it's six points for Jaleel Okafor. 
and guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Fox passes to Bogdanovich to the inside. It's stolen by Randall. The dish to Payton. Back to Randall. Miritich against Bogdanovich. Five on the clock. Feeds away. Miritich's shot is off. The Kings trail by four. In last season, a bit of a breakout for Miritich. Saw a huge jump in his production and shot a career best from the floor. Across the board, he was a completely changed player despite what was a turbulent season. New Orleans making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Fox with it. Now Peyton defending. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And with Miritich, Greg, as you alluded, his year last year had a lot of ups and downs. You know, he missed a good stretch of the season with, with that broken jaw uh, from the fight he had with, with the teammate. And then the trade demands to get out of Chicago shortly after coming back. And despite all this, his defense and rebounding were dramatically improved and really a key contributor on offense. He throw good, Fox. De'Aaron Fox, another hyper-athletic point guard out of Kentucky. Great size at 6'4". He can impact the game at both ends. And so he hits both. And De'Aaron Fox made his mark at Kentucky with his terrific on-ball defense. He puts a lot of pressure on. I mean, he picks up 94 feet. And that's really how you set the bar for your team with how hard you compete at the defensive end. Now here's Peyton. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Just five to shoot. Holiday with the three. Rebound by the Kings. Three-pointer. Heald sinks the triple. Heald's got his third basket of the night right there. I love seeing Hill shoot the three ball. He's a high percentage scorer from there. Firing with ease. Randall is screen on Fox. Peyton kicks to Randall. Here's Davis. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Here's Bagley. Mirajic grabs the miss. The Pelicans trail. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Well, he was drafted seventh in 2014. Randall actually dropped because of injury concerns. But you see, he has all the talent in the world. Well, look, Julius Randle making an effort to up his physical condition. Look, you love his motor, and he, and he wants to be able to handle dealing with larger assignments as he can often give up height on most plays against most players. He's one of the more consistent presence on the floor. And he makes the first. And Z Webb with Randall's production, he's shown to be versatile in where he can line up as well. Yeah, Kevin, I mean, he came into this league as a small forward, but he has seen some time as a small ball five. I mean, that's crazy. The focus on conditioning, that's helped him in that regard. He's turned his defense from a weakness into a strength as he continues to improve his game. And the chance to take the lead gets away because of the miss. Healed from outside. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got four assists now tonight. That's number two for him from long range in the quarter. His third overall. Now here's Peyton. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Miritich sets the screen for Holiday. From deep. He's off on that one. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Well, his stroke has not been what they needed it to be, but looks like they're going to keep going to him. 
Now Fox. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Utah. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Fox. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Pelicans trail by three. Peyton outside. Kicks it to Randall. Teardrop shot. It's hauled in by the Kings. Crawley Stein's got four rebounds in this game. Let's it fly. Kept alive. I like the shot selection on that one, despite the miss. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Peyton and the rejection by Crawley Stein. And shooters beware. Crawley Stein is very crafty at how he rises up for the block. So good at catching scores off guard with his wide reach. Now here's Heald. He's got 11, and he makes that one. Crawley Stein's got his first points in this one. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Davis, and that one clearly a foul, gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Willie Crawley Stein. Yeah, the defender all over. Think about Hill. I mean, uh, wow, the college player of the year, his senior season at Oklahoma. Look, he made dramatic improvement over his college career. And he's done the same thing here in the pros. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And healed, Chris, is uh, shooting well over 40% from three-point range the last couple seasons. Uh, think about this. He's crept into the top 20 all-time in career percentage. That alone will keep him in the league for a long time. And his overall game, it's only getting better. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. His free throw ability makes him tough to defend in the post. Teams can't get too physical with him. Heald with a screen on Peyton. Fox kicks to Cauley Stein. Fox passes to Bogdanovich. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Bogdanovich has got five points now this quarter. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Pass to Davis. Over Cauley Stein. And it comes off the front of the rim. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Healed, can't hit. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Well, sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. And how about the burst in that first step? Just right to the rim. Kings leading now by four. And here is Fox. He has six. There's a good screen. Bogdanovich, no luck. New Orleans got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Peyton kicks to Davis. Overhealed. Randall. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Taken away by Holiday. It's going by Heal. Bagley dishes to Heal. Cans the 12-footer. Heal's got the lead up to six now for the Kings. What timing from Heal. Love how he sizes up these opportunities as the pass is coming his way. Davis with a screen on Fox. Goes up to the stripe, and there's Davis. That's good. And the assist from Peyton. Davis has got 21. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And Alfred Payton, over his four seasons, developing one of the most distinctive hairstyles in the league. You know, and I remember seeing some footage where his hair seemed to block his vision on a shot attempt. For, for a player who had struggled shooting the ball, many questioned whether a trim might be in order. We'll see. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Shaq Diallo, he's checked in for Julius Randle. Miller comes in for Miritich. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Alfred Payton. Now here's McLemore outside. And that one is off. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. They host the Clippers after this game. 
That'll be the second of four games at home for him. Jack passes to Davis. Shoots from 14, and that's good for two. Now with just a two-point Kings lead. As dangerous as he is inside, Davis gives opponents nightmares when he's able to get to the mid-range. He's very reliable when he steps back and takes the jump shot. Here's Farrell, and the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Yeah, winning or not, it's not going to be a happy locker room when we get to halftime because they have a lot of turnover. Each one more, he's checked in for New Orleans. Now here's Moore. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Sacramento's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Oh! Oh, you have to admire the intensity of McLemore sprinting towards the hoop and jamming it home with some real force. And a terrific bit of chaos there on the replay presented by the Under Armour Hover Havoc. Here's Jack. Here's Diallo from outside the arc. No good from Jack. And McLemore kicks to Farrell. Just three on the clock. It's not going to go for him. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Zach, how did you guys get back on top of this game? Just getting stops. You know, getting stops, get out of transition, get to the basket, guys getting shots, and uh, we getting stops. So we just got to keep going, playing defense, and uh, let everything else take care of itself. That's how you guys roll. Thanks, Zach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, friends and neighbors. One half down, another half to go. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Buddy Heald. He had 13 points, four rebounds, and one steal. What'd you think about Sacramento, Kenny? Well, I think to shoot a high percentage, your offense has to be in sync. And in the first half, those guys were sharing the basketball, playing for each other. Now it becomes a matter of being consistent at it. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans played? Well, they had no consistency on the defensive end. Looked like they were building confidence, and then boom, turn up the volume. A series of bad plays. They're giving up way too many good looks. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Welcome back to New Orleans as we take a gentle cruise down the Mississippi River before returning to action. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, he's really been catching the defense off guard so far here in this game, racking up a bunch of trips to the line. Well, in a few times, he's done a good job of initiating contact, yet getting the foul call on the defender. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Pelicans trail by four. Peyton and Holiday are together in the backcourt. Down low, it's Randall and Davis. And it's Miritich in at the three, the small forward. That's Alvin Gentry's five as we get into the second half. Just the look he wants and still no luck. Tough night for him. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to six now for the Kings. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Davis against Coley Stein. And it's Davis missing. And for Sacramento, they're shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. Bagley, Miracic grabs the miss. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. That's good from Randall on the assist from Peyton. Peyton's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And it's Bagley at the elbow. Back to Heald. Passes it to Cauley Stein. 
Trying to find Fox. Gets it to him. Offline with the baseline jump. Pelicans trail by four. To the inside. Here's Holiday. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Holiday's got ten points. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Bogdanovich. Miritich grabs the miss. Miritich has got his third rebound on the night. Having a little bit of trouble at the start of the half. Only one for four from the field. For New Orleans, they've gone two of four here to start the second half. Outside Holiday. Outside Miritich. He kicks to Davis. Uh, that's just the heart of Kali Stein. The heart that he possesses on defense is just admirable. He takes pride in contesting every shot he can up there. And Alfred Payton with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. De'Aaron Fox, D. Webb, with a very slender build. Does, does that concern you at all? Not at all. I love his wiry strength. It holds up the contact better than you might think. Plus his speed beats strength any day. He's got to stay in the weight room, though. He knows. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And he hit 72% of his foul shots a season ago. But I'm not sure he's real thrilled with those numbers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. What, what, what sticks out about Fox is his speed. He's one of the fastest guys in the game at both ends of the floor. And he makes both free throws. And how about the way Fox continues to improve his game? A capable scorer who also rebounds the ball well for his size. And still, though, he can improve on that perimeter jump shot. Randall, foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And let's take a quick look now at some stats here for Holiday. Great showing for him last season. He averaged about 19 points a game last year. Six assists and four rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. Hey, every symphony needs a conductor. He unifies his teammates, sets the tempo, and they make some sweet, sweet music. He hits the second from the line. Now, here's Fox. Eight points for him. Cauley Stein, a screen. Fox kicks to Cauley Stein. Back to Fox. Connects from three-point range. Fox has got 11. This is the next step for Fox. I mean, he's sharpening his outside shot. He's becoming a major threat from there. Davis sets a screen. Randall passes to Holiday. And now we'll look at the upcoming schedule for Sacramento. On Sunday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Tuesday, they'll be taking on Paul Millsap and the Denver Nuggets. And looking at the Wizards matchup, they'll need to be at their best for this contest. Anything short of excellence, and they'll be in for a rough ride. First one falls for him. All three throws, good from Drew Holiday. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Holiday against Heald. Holy Stein, a screen. Outside, Bogdanovich. Back to Heald, just five on the clock. Misses the three. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. To the middle and stolen by Bogdanovich. And there's the foul. It'll go on Nikola Miritich. That is his first foul of the game. Norland's making a switch here. Okafor's checked in. 
Now, here's Bogdanovich. Nine points in the game so far. Back to Cauley Stein. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Lock at six. Bagley, no good. Pelicans trail by four. Expanding his range. And it's Fox with the rebound. Fox has got three rebounds so far in the game. To the paint. It's tipped. It's stolen by Randall. Holiday attacking. And Mirotic has it in the corner. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Sacramento leading by four. Bogdanovich passes to Cauley Stein. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Passes like that help develop team chemistry. But Bogdanovich, uh, I love the display of unselfishness. And it's Peyton. That time on the assist by Holiday. Good movement there. And the lead pass was right where it needed to be. Heald kicks to Bagley. Inside. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got the lead back up to six now for Sacramento. Well, he's been the safety valve for them on every possession. So dependent. Picked by Randall. Over Bagley. Randall no good. Sacramento's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And now, it's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast-break teams from a season ago. In third, the Pelicans. I mean, this is such a tough team to deal with. You see the numbers. They would just push the ball at every opportunity. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. And he can't hit the second. Pelicans trail by seven. Here's Holiday. That one drops for him. Holiday's got 14 points. Sacramento's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Here's Bagley. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his sixth assist on the night. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now, here is Miritich. Pick by Okafor. Here's Randall. And the whistle blows. So a chance here for a three-point play. Oh, that's just a strong upper body. Randall converts through contact. Now, he's going to go to the line. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Morris checked in for Alfred Payton. And then for Sacramento. Randolph comes in for Willie Cauley-Stein. And Bialica in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. free throw good from Randall Kings leading now by four and there's the pass to Randall Bagley kicks to Bialica oh good with the triple New Orleans getting blank from three-point land so far in the third still 0 for 3 and again no good by New Orleans the Kings have gone just a bit under 50 percent from the field since halftime five out of 11 and the shot goes in and 11 points for Marvin Bagley. Oh, no doubt that Buddy Hill can shoot with the best of them. But it's encouraging watching him share the wealth as well. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Miller's checked in for New Orleans. McLemore's checked in for Sacramento. Yogi Ferrell comes in for Fox. Bialica passes to Randall. Farrell for three. Knocks down the three ball. Farrell's got six. 
What you have to give Randolph great understanding for the game. Knows how to generate offense. And Moore kicks to Okafer. He dishes it to Holiday. Okafor with no one around. Had the space there, but it's offline. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against us. Pick by Okafor. Miller dishes to Moore. This one for three. It's rebounded by Farrell. Kings leading now by nine. There's McLemore. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, for New Orleans, shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. It's good. A oh, terrific pass work. That shot's a lot easier after an assist like that. The Kings have gone 7-15 from the field here in the third quarter. Farrell kicks to Randall. Back to Farrell. Randolph against Okafor. Well, Chris, Zach Randolph still getting it done. Well, look, his game remains effective because it never was based on athleticism to begin with. I, I, I coined the term old man game. He's going to be the type of player that can play in rec centers when he gets old because this game never changes. Plus, his toughness, man, he is tough. That's probably his greatest asset. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Shek Diallo comes in for Julius Randle. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Drew Holiday. Pelicans trail by nine. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Jack passes to Miller. Here's Diallo. Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points of the game from beyond the arc. No good from Jack. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. And Bialitz kicks to LaBissier. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. Well, that's some determination from LaBissier. He isn't going to be denied even when he's getting fouled. One shot. Oh, look at Scal Labissieri. I mean, he grew up in Haiti. I mean, in the 2010 quake, his family's house collapsed on top of him. Luckily, they were rescued, and that drove him to leave the U.S. at age 14 to pursue a basketball career. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And, Chris, I remember hearing after that quake, trapped for hours in the rubble, Scal couldn't walk for weeks. Then he comes to the U.S., didn't speak a word of English. Uh, there's a lot he's overcome in his life. I mean, think about that. That's where success comes from, his perseverance. That's going to serve him well. Think about one year at Kentucky, he didn't dominate, but he's never let adversity get the best of him. Now, here is Jack. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Jack's got his second basket. And that's just an, a, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. Little resistance for him on the way to the basket. As the Bialitsa, it's deflected. Moore with the steal. That's tipped. McLemore with the ball. He's got five. Here's the lob to Randolph. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Miller with a wide open look. And it's good off the glass. Miller's got his first points of the game. Look at this. I like this team basketball. Keeping the ball moving till they find the right shot. Farrell kicks to Randolph. Over to the wing. No one near LaBissier as he lets it go. Releases from the wing and drills it. Oh, I like seeing LaBissier expand his range. Looking solid from the mid range. Pass to Okafor. Some solid defense from Randolph. 
Yeah, and they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Passes it to Bialica. Now here's McLemore outside. Pelicans with the rebound. Diallo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's Moore penetrating. And it's Miller in the corner. Really left alone that time. Kings leading now by eight. 144 and left in the third quarter. And Okafer with the block. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Moore is running. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Moore's got four points this quarter. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Farrell passes to LeBissier. Ball's knocked loose. To the inside. Okafor with the steal. Here's Moore. Tries again. Diallo, no good. Sacramento's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. And McLemore kicks to Farrell. There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Jack with the defensive effort. Pelicans trail by six. To the middle. There's Diallo. Rebound by the Kings. Randolph's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Deflects the pass. Sacramento moving it around. Labissiere. Second chance shot. Here's Bialitsa. Covered by Miller. Offensive rebound. The pass to Farrell. To the right side. They set the pick. And the call will be against Darius Miller. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. And he makes the first. Both shots good from the strike. Outside Jack. Here's Davis. Some solid defense from Randolph. And so it's Sacramento holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back right after this. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Alvin Gentry. We just got to do a better job of executing, okay? And then we got to get back, guys. I mean, we got to be spread back. Well, Greg, he doesn't sound pleased with his team's transition defense. Uh, and you can't fault him. I mean, Coach Gentry really fighting to get his team more engaged. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play getting started. On the floor for Sacramento. Lebissier and Cauley Steiner, the big. Farrell is out there with McLemore. And it's Pialica in at the three spot. Moore with the bucket. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high quality shot and then able to knock it down. Farrell kicks to Lebissier. Now McLemore. It's Pialica. No good on the triple. Side jet. High pose, Davis. Five on the clock, and Labissier sends it back. Just phenomenal timing on the block. Labissier leaping up for the forceful rejection. Violetza passes to Farrell. In the corner, it's McLemore. 
But they recover it. Pass to Labissier. Another shot. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And that's now seven points for Ben McLemore. That's the kind of player McLemore is. He is always thinking of shooting as soon as he gets the ball off the pass. Here's Davis. Rebound by the Kings. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. To the middle. Pick off in midair. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They set the screen. Jack passes to Diallo. Good, and Jack gets the assist. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Here's Farrell, defended by Jack. Here's Cauley Stein over Davis and misses it off the right side of the rim. I think he lets the D get to him there, and he rushes it. I mean, he has plenty of space there if he just takes his time. Kings leading now by four. Farrell kicks to LaBissier. Back to Farrell. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And every once in a while, LaBissier will find his teammate for the high percentage shot. Love to see the big man dish it out. And that's a foul uh, called on Yogi Ferrell. That is his first foul of the game. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Randall's checked in for Shek Diallo. Miritic comes in for Darius Miller. Drew Holiday's checked in for each one more. And it's Alfred Payton in for Jarrett Jack. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Bagley, he's checked in for Labissier. Bogdanovich comes in for Bielitsa. Heald's checked in for McLemore. And it's Fox in for Ferrell. And you can see the comfortable level Bogdanovich has. I mean, close to the rim, he knows he has the touch. Pelicans trail by eight. Davis sets a screen. Peyton passes to Randall. Outside for Davis. New Orleans moving it around. Shot clock at five. Davis setting the pick for Holiday. Nice work there coming off the screen. All about the pick there. I mean, let him shed his man and square up for the jump. Peyton against Fox. Outside, Bogdanovich. Offline with his three. The Pelicans have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Out that one in the Sacramento lead has been cut down now to just three in the basket from Heritage. Kings have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Heald kicks to Cauley Stein. Pass to Bagley. Here's Heald. He gets that one. And the Kings lead by five. Heald is so quick on the drive. Blasting through the defense. Easy to get all the way to the cup. Randall can't hit that one. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. Cauley Stein dishes to Fox. Up top, Heald. And here is Fox. And stolen by Miritich. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. Great move to get to the rim. I think they're going to take the aggressive approach down the stretch. And they have to. I mean, this isn't the time in the game to be careful. This is the time to attack. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Refusing to be tied down. Bogdanovich is fantastic at adjusting his body and shot when he gets hit. Davis sets a screen. Payton kicks to Randall over Bagley. Randall no good. Kings leading now by five. Here's Fox. Passes to Bagley over Randall. Offensive rebound. Healed. Excellent D there from Holiday. For New Orleans, they've gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Holiday's got four points in the quarter. Those passes into the paint have to be precise, just like that. How a timeout called by Sacramento. And the talk at their huddle is going to be about taking care of the basketball. I mean, their turnover numbers are terrible.
And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen to Dave Yeager's huddle with his team. He was pretty clear cut to them. He said, look, we need to play with some edge out there. I don't care what the lead is. Do not back off. Now, here's Fox. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Maybe we can give him a pass for that turnover. Only because he's been reliable up to now. Mistake free. Peyton against Fox. Peyton passes to Randall. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. No question, he got bumped on that shot. That free throw, good from Randall. Both free throws, good from Randall. For Sacramento, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field, entering the fourth quarter. Fox kicks to Bagley. Now the pass to Heal. Pass to Fox. Cauley Stein with it, covered by Peyton. Second shot opportunity. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's six points for Willie Cauley Stein. Oh, man, the relentless pursuit of the basketball by Kali Stein. Just a tremendous hustler on the offensive glass. Count that one, and the Kings lead has been cut to just one point on the basket from Randall. Sacramento's gone ice cold from three-point land, 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Fox passes to Bogdanovich. And poor shot selection there, not a high percentage look for him. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. Miritich's shot is off. King shooting 40% in the fourth. Fox against Peyton. Fox passes to Cauley Stein. He feeds it to Bagley. And finished off by Bagley. <laughs> yeah, ferocious at the rim. Bagley can finish with power or finesse. Pelicans trail by three. Peyton kicks to Randall. Davis setting the pick for Randall. Heaton loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. A, a good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. That's just an attack mindset. I love it. Game on the line. He's our competing guys. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. Zach Randolph's checked in for Cauley Stein. Here's Fox. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Julius Randle picks one up. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. He misses the free throw. The second free throw good well they should be looking at a three-point lead hopefully for them that miss won't cost them Peyton outside kicks it to Davis holiday against Teal the shot by holiday no good yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover just couldn't convert the finish In the corner, it's healed. A three-pointer, no good. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. The shot by Peyton. Offensive rebound. The Kings leading. Healed dishes to Bagley. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. And he's just an attacking player. A guy who doesn't mind a little contact. Bagley there with a strong finish. Now here's Peyton. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there.
Buddy Heald grew up in a tough area in the Bahamas. Didn't have a lot of things the rest of us all take for granted. Yeah, he slept in a room with all six of his siblings. At the crack of dawn, he tiptoe over them. I mean, think about this. To make sure he got to school on time, he had to be the first in his kitchen to boil water for his bath. I mean, what a story. Shows you where he came from. It also shows you what he's about. Now, here's Fox. They set the pick. Pass to Randolph. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's foul number two for him. Bogdanovich against Miritich. But look, the reach of Miritich so effective, especially on defense. He does a great job at altering shots. Here's Davis, and finished off by Davis. And finally, they fought themselves back to even the score. We've got a new ball game here now. They've shown some character tonight. There was no quit in them, even when they were down B. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. He's been a force inside. If they don't commit more bodies down low, he's going to keep destroying them in the paint. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Buddy Heal. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. And for Sacramento, they're shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Fox kicks to Heald. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. This guy is a gamer. Heald's eyes light up when he gets the chance to take these shots. Davis with a screen on Fox. Here's Peyton trying to get open as Randall. No good from Peyton. And for Sacramento, they're shooting about 45% from the four in the fourth. Three-pointer heel. Holiday with the defensive effort. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth to take the lead. And there's Miritich on the assist from Randall. And the Pelicans lead by one. Oh, Miritich is an exceptional player. I mean, he's someone that welcomes taking and making these big tight shots. There's a good screen. Heald kicks to Randall. Over Davis. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Clearly a foul. Good on the first and that ties the game up. So both free throws good that time. That puts him ahead. And how about the composure there at the line? A ton of pressure on those free throws, and he knocks them both in. Out to Peyton. Passes to Randall. Here's Davis. Rejected by Randolph. He's an energy boost. Whenever Randolph swats shots back, he's making more of an effort on this end. He gets it in there. 16 points for De'Aaron Fox. Oh, embracing the spotlight, but it's a big possession. It's fun seeing Fox come alive and deliver. The pass to Davis. 112 left in the fourth quarter. Shoots from the baseline. Connects. The jumper drops. Davis has got six points in the quarter. Oh, perfect execution. The size mismatch was there, and they went right at it. Yeah, and at this stage, uh, that, that, that's just what you need to do. You got to get those high percentage looks. Now here's Heald. Aganovich places one from three. Timeout, timeout. Guys separate themselves by how they perform in clutch situations. Give this man his props. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're down by four. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth. Here 
There's 53 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Stolen by Randolph. Pushing it up. Here's Fox. Miracic grabs the miss. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Oh, man, you just want to go find some place to hide, man. It's almost impossible to miss that. Kicked by Randall. Holiday, the pass to Randall. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, it shouldn't be a surprise. Randall did this at Kentucky. He likes the ball in his hands when it counts. Pass to Randall. To the inside. Bagley. Randolph tried to free himself up. And the call will be against Julius Randall. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. Diallo, he's checked in for New Orleans. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the game. What do you think, guys? You know, you'd love to be able to clear space and get that triple, but you can also do the two with a quick foul. Well, these are some of the toughest decisions. I mean, a good argument can be made for either case. Here's Miritic. It's good! A tremendous three to tie it up. Love the attitude of Miritic. When the game is close, he wants the ball in his hands. He knows how to deliver. Healed against Howard. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Here's Peyton. Can't cash in. That's what every team needs. Guys getting after on the offensive board. Howard timeout called by Sacramento. What's your take, guys? And the only chance here is a lob at the front of the rim. A tip in to tie the game. There's not enough time to get a catch and shoot. So it's a narrow victory for the Pelicans, pulling it out for the W. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Alfred, what was the biggest adjustment you made tonight to come back and win? Uh, we turned it up on D. We got back to doing what we do and uh, attacking the rim on the other end. It all came together for a win, Alfred. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Craig Anthony, and David Alfred, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.